Hello my friends, my name is Serge and today I'm gonna introduce you this device here. It's a foot mini controller from BJ Devices company called TB11P. It's a fully functional mini foot controller which can control any of your mini controllable devices with a mini cables or with a USB. There is a smaller version of this controller called TB6P it's the same, just less buttons on it. So, I'm gonna show you how this thing works with a great processor for guitarists, Camper Profile. Very nice feature about this foot controller that it can be phantom powered with a MIDI cable. So, BJ devices developed this type of MIDI cable with a power jack on it. So you plug your uh, power adapter into this plug and after connect to the MIDI in and here we go. You don't need extra power wires uh, here and there so it's uh, phantom powered which is great. So let me show you the easiest function which is program change. You can assign and call any preset from your camper on any of these buttons in 30 banks. So you can call up to 300 uh, up to 300 presets right away from your foot controller. Uh, let me show you how this can be done. Choose button type program change. You can see here program 1. When you press it, it calls program number 1. It can be done both in browser and in performance mode. If you need to call other presets on this button number 1, you just run through presets of your camper with these up and down buttons. You see, it shows you name of the preset here on the LED display, so you know for sure where you at, and it shows you bank number and the name. So let's say I want to call program number ten from this first button here. I just go to one to ten, so preset called blackface best. And it always will be on my button number one. All I need to do now is just save the bank and here we go. You can call it at any time. This is the program change mode. The next thing is performance mode. As you know, Camper Profiler has uh, performance like banks with uh, four slots in each performance. So you can assign let's say 5 and 10 buttons to switch up and down between the performances and assign let's say button from 1 to 4 to choose a slot of the particular performance. I'll show you how it works. So let's go to setup. Go to button setup and choose button 10 type as a control change, control change continuous. No, control change continuous. And we need the control change number 48 to switch to, to go through the performances up. Okay, 
Now let's go to button number five and make it control change control change continues with number 49 49 to to go through the performances downwards okay Let's see, is it work? Oop. Yeah, it works. You see? Example song 2. Example song 1. Well. Now let's assign slots. Now we will assign slots from 1 to 4 of a camper to the buttons from 1 to 4. We just go to the setup button setup choose the button type of button one is control change continuous controller number 50 and message one we do the same for other buttons button number two control change number 51 for slot number one button 3 52 button 4 53 so here we go let's check Button number one, slot number one, button number two, calls slot number two, three, slot number three, and button number four, calls slot number four, solo dog. Now we change performance to the next example sound number two and call let's say slot number three more delay slot number four see it works just great other buttons still work as a program changed like we call it Program number six, seven, eight. So in this bank we're like combining program change with the control over performance settings of the camper. Okay, now let me tell you about another great feature about this foot controller. It has a shift mode. What is the shift mode? You can assign any of these buttons to put controller into shift mode. And it's like another layer of uh, settings for all 10 buttons. Actually, uh, it's 11 buttons because under, under the expression button, there is another hidden secret button. Yes, and you can assign, let's say, wow pedal to switch functionality of expression pedal from volume to wow or to or to whammy pedal to uh, to change the pitch of your uh, guitar so but now let uh, let me tell you about uh, shift mode to me i think it's a good idea to set four stomp boxes and four effect slots which I have in camper in shift mode so in normal mode you choose the program you want to play with and in shift mode what you have is you will take control over four stomp boxes and four effects so how we do this let's uh, call button number five to put controller into shift mode let's go to setup button set up button number five okay and it's gonna be shift button okay now as you can see here 
we have uh, settings for all 11 buttons in shift mode button 1 shift, button 2 shift, etc. To turn on and off stump boxes uh, let's say we want to turn on stump box number 6 and number 1 with button number 6 we can do it with control change number 17 control change Seventeen. Okay. So. Okay. Let's go to the. Now it's in shift mode. And here we go. So we do the same for for other buttons. Button seven. Shift mode, controller, number 18, for stun box B, okay, button number 8, controller number 19, for stun box C, okay, and shift button number nine, controller number 20 for stump box D of camper. Okay, let's check how it works. Exit. Now, now we in shift mode. Uh, this led here show you that you go into shift mode and see first button uh, I mean button number six turns on and off noise gate stump box A it's not too obvious but the second stump box is the EQ it turns and on the Third uh, stun box C is a boost. And the button number nine now. It now activates the phaser stun box D. Okay, it works. Now let's do the same for effect sections of camper. Let's set them on buttons number one, two, three, and four. So we go to the button settings in shift mode and for button one, we set the control change TG uh, message number 22. Okay, for shift button two, Let's do control change TG number 24. It's for modulation section. Okay, for button 3 shift mode. Let's set control change number 26 for turn on and off the delays. Okay, and for button 4 in shift mode, we're setting control change number 28 for turn on and off reverbs. Okay, let's check is it working. So here we go, shift mode. Section number one. The second section is modulation. Chorus. Tones and off. 
third section is delay. Works perfectly, and the fourth section is a reverb. No reverb. Cool. So now in this shift mode we have control over all four stambox sections of camper and all four effects section of a camper. Is it good or good? Another thing we can control from here is a looper. Let's set our buttons from 1 to 4 in a shift mode for control of the looper of a camper. Let's go to button setup, button 1, uh, button 1 shift mode. Okay, we need it to be NRPN type, NRPN M. 12588 12588 we set it for stop erase function. You can find there is a manual to set the looper control from uh, this controller, especially for the camper. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky, but nothing, nothing big. So you can make it if you try. Number ninety nine. Okay, now check, now let's check is it work. Uh, we go to shift mode with button number 5 and let's try to record and loop something. You see, it works. Stop and go. Let's try to over that. Okay, this is how it works. Now let's talk about expression pedal. Expression pedal can control volume or do valve pedal function or control the morph, morphing function of camper, which is pretty cool and pretty exciting to me. So uh, to set what you're gonna do with your expression pedal, go to Expression tap and tuner settings tap tap display expression pedal one expression pedal two expression pedal it's it's about the external expression pedals you're gonna connect if you need it expression on board now sending control change number seven which is volume if we need to send it wawa we set it to control change number one. Okay, now if we turn on the Wawa and the camper, it's gonna play. Okay, 
now let me tell you about the morphing fu function of a camper profiler. Um, let's say you want to have uh, two settings of reverb in one preset. One is with really small amount of reverb, like this. A bit more. So it'd be audible, audible. And the other is with a huge amount of echo. We, uh, our expression panel already in uh, morphing mode. So in this upper position, we set first, first setting with a small amount of reverberation. After we press it down, you see that there's a line going here showing that it works. And now we set a really huge amount of canyon kind of echo. And now we can smoothly go from first setting to the second setting with expression pedal. This is how morphing works. Isn't it cool? <laughs> there is another option about expression pedal. In the camper you can choose from the system menu that your expression pedal can, can change between, let's say, volume and wawa pedal. It means in, when the wawa pedal is off, your expression pedal work at the volume, like this. Uh, oh, you need to turn on the switch here. When the wawa pedal is off, it works as a volume pedal. When you turn volume all the way down, it starts to show you tuner. When you turn on the wawa pedal, it starts to walk as a wawa. Turn on the wawa, it works as the volume pedal again. Cool. Now let me tell you about those lead lines here, those lead straps. They're not made, made only for pedal looks cooler, they also have a functionality on it. You can put the tuner here and see tuning of your guitar with those beautiful LED stripes. For this purpose we go to the pedal view go to display type uh, pedal view display type uh, and tuner scheme display type show as a button and show as a tuner okay now let's see what's gonna happen you see I play a note on my guitar and here I can tune it with using those LED, LED stripes as a tuner. It's really useful on stage. So you can turn down the volume and just tune your guitar in between songs with a really cool big LED display showing you the tuning of your guitar cool now we're done so that's about it of course there's a lot more of possibilities in this device if we go in depth we can tweak everything and uh, get much more out of it but hopefully i've showed you the main functionality of this bj devices tb11p connected to the camper profiler uh, guitar processor 
goodbye hope you enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to answer them in comments under this video hope to see you soon take care bye